Hi, it's Ms. Vitale. This podcast is on the origin of the species. It is the fourth in the evolution series for AP Biology. The species is an interbreeding group of individuals who produce healthy, fertile offspring. Speciation is the origin of a new species in evolution. The biological species concept is the previously stated definition of a species where individuals can produce healthy fertile offspring. It was defined by Ernst Mayer, an evolutionary biologist, in 1942. The definition also should be followed by and cannot produce fertile offspring with members of other species due to reproductive barriers. Reproductive barriers prevent different species from interbreeding. Some examples of reproductive barriers are a bunch of different prezygotic barriers. These prezygotic barriers don't allow fertilization of an ova by a sperm from a different species. One type is habitat isolation, where two species occupy different habitats, even if the two habitats are in the same, same location, for example, land and water. Behavioral isolation is when behavior patterns are different, even in closely related species. One species doesn't recognize the behavior of another, especially, this is especially important in mating rituals. Temporal isolation is when two species that breed at different times will not have a chance to breed with each other. Mechanical isolation is anatomical incompatibility. Sex organs are not compatible. For example, flower shape only accommodates a certain pollinator. Gametic isolation occurs even when a sperm and an egg are mixed, fertiliz fertilization doesn't occur and the gamete doesn't form. There are also postzygotic barriers. If fertilization does occur, a viable fertile offspring doesn't develop. One type is reduced hybrid viability. Genetically incom genetic incompatibility causes an abortion. Another type is reduced hybrid fertility. This is when an offspring is born but it's sterile and it cannot produce its own offspring. An example is a mule. Hybrid breakdown is when sometimes two species create fertile offspring in the first generation, but the second generation are not healthy or fertile. This is common in plants. The biological species concept is based on reproductive barriers, but there are other species concepts. The development of new species or speciations can occur in two ways. Allopatric speciation is caused by geographic separation. This causes isolation. Genetic drift and natural selection changes isolated population, an isolated population into a new species. Adaptive radiation falls under allopatric speciation, and it's the emergence of numerous species from a common ancestor introduced into an environment. This presents a diversity of new opportunities and problems. Sympatric speciation is when a new species arises within the range of a parent population. It's not geographically separate. Mutations such as polyploidy, which is multiple chromosome sets, can produce a new species in plants. In animals, members of the population become genetically different from the parent population and they begin using different resources within the same environment. Evolution has been based on the concept that it occurs slowly and gradually. Small changes add up over time to produce a new species, but the fossil record sometimes shows big changes that appear to occur in a short amount of time. Punctuated equilibrium is a theory of evolution that incorporates spurts of rapid change followed by long periods of little or no change, which is the equilibrium part. Speciation falls between micro and macro evolution. Exaptations is when a structure evolves and functions in one environment, but it can perform additional functions in a new environment. Allometric growth is the variation in the relative rates of growth of various parts of the body which helps shapes the organism. 
Slight changes in these growth rates can dramatically change the adults, causing heterochrony. This is evolutionary changes in the timing or rate of development. It can, it can involve the switching on and off of genes. Homeotic genes determine where an organism's parts are placed. Changes in homeotic genes can result in macroevolution.